dare you intrude in the palace while my mother is away in battle? Oh no! Princess Mercedes! What? You... Grandfather, did something happen? A thief defeated the knights and snuck into the palace. This woman is that thief. I can see that. You have something of ours. Return my mother's ring immediately. What was that? Is that the ring to trail? This ring is at the center of this debacle. It belongs to Valentine. This abominable treasure has no place with fairies. It seems there's more to this story. But you are mistaken. The rightful owner of that ring surrendered it to us. It is ours. King Valentine passed away during the disaster. Your lies are transparent. I tell no lie. The ring was given to our queen. By the surviving Prince of Valentine. <gasps> prince? It can't be... Ingwe. Even if that's the case, I cannot return the ring. You are not going anywhere! Guards! Guards! You're all right. We were worried. Master. We, we can't let ourselves be seen. Hurry, we have to hide. So this is the ring that can stop the cauldron. This whole area is a war zone right now. No one will be able to come search for it. Father, is the king really trying to create another disaster? I know not the king's mind, but if the king wishes to use the cauldron for atrocity once again, the only one able to stop him is the one who knew him in life. It will be up to Princess Velvet. But I cannot bear to see the princess in such danger. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I did not give you that chain so you could act like a thief. Ingwe! Have you any idea how dangerous that ring is? Let me hold on to it, Velvet. Give me the ring. How do you know about this? We are twins. There is nothing you can hide from me. You said that Skaldi has friends in the Fairy Kingdom, did you not? If that chain makes you act so irrationally, shall I take it away? 
Don't glare at me like that. I'm just worried about you. I'm sorry if I've upset you. Please, just leave me alone. I will eventually get that ring. But first, how can I stop the prattling of those old men who talk of nothing but Titrell? <laughs> 